The Prophet ﷺ used to prefer praying so that he would be facing the Kaaba, the house built by his father Ibrahim ﷺ, and then at the same time be facing Aqsa. This way he could face both houses at the same time. When he moved to Medina wasallam, that was impossible. Because if you're going to face Mecca, your back will be to Aqsa. And if you're going to face Aqsa, your back will be to Mecca. You can't face both at the same time. You understand what I'm saying? He couldn't line them up together anymore because now he's in between. He's in between both of those locations. And it really used to hurt his feelings. It used to hurt his feelings that he has to turn his back to the house built by his father Ibrahim alayhi salam and by the way, our father Ibrahim alayhi salam. Millata abikum Ibrahim. And it used to hurt his feelings that he's not showing the due respect to the house built by, by his father that he made so much dua on. And he doesn't complain to Allah. He doesn't tell Allah it's difficult for him. He doesn't say anything. One time it was hurting him so much, he just looked up at the sky. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's all he did. He looked up at the sky. And by the way, every single Muslim in the world, every single Muslim in the world, prays in what direction? The Kaaba. Until the Day of Judgment, we're gonna pray in the direction of the Kaaba. That is the house built by Ibrahim alayhi salam and then purified by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam so that humanity can worship the one true God. That is the purpose of that house. It is actually built so all humanity can finally come to guidance. This is why wudi al nas whenever the houses of Allah, house of Allah is talked about, al-masjid al-haram is talked about, it's always an-nas. It's an-nas, it's not just al ladina amanu because all humanity is supposed to come to Islam. They're meant to come to Islam. They're meant to accept the religion of their father Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now, how many people have prayed since the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam until now? And how many people will pray from now until the day of judgment? It's uncountable. Uncountable how much worship is going on facing that house. So what is the reason for that Qibla from Aqsa, from Jerusalem to be changed back to this house? There's lots of reasons, but what's the reason in the Quran? قَدْ نَرَى تَقَلُّبَ وَجْهِكَ فِي السَّمَاءِ فَلَا نُوَلِّيَنَّكَ قِبْلَةً تَرْضَاهَا We saw your face already turning to the sky. So we are turning you in direction of the Qibla. So you could be happy. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah's reason for changing the Qibla is so the messenger could be happy. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A direction that he would be pleased with. We pray in that direction, and Allah's reason is it puts a smile on Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's face. Can you imagine all the worship in the world that will happen correctly until Judgment Day, and all of it boils down to Allah wanting to give happiness to His Messenger alaihi salatu wasalam. <laughs>